Cyber Warrior. This is Cyber Warrior Studios, and it's Motivation Monday. So, there's a lot that, you know, um, goes into motivation. Different ways you can motivate yourself, different ways other people can motivate you, um, different ways you can motivate others. And throughout um, the course of a lot of my videos, I've asked what motivates you, what keeps you going, what gets you going in the morning. Um, and one of the things that I don't know if I talked about, but I'd like to talk about today, and it's this key to motivation and the key to doing your best. And it's the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Now, I can't pronounce the name of the person that said it, but what I want to bring to light about this is that though true, I did talk about this uh, to an extent in mentorship even. So you want people to motivate you that you, you want to surround yourself with people that are, are going to help, not necessarily uh, help you and, and tell you you're always right, but they uplift you. Even if you fail, they're willing to pick you back up. They're willing to give you advice. They're willing to um, you know, just be there and be a shoulder or whatever it is you need. If you need a, a swift kick in the ass, that's what they're going to give you too. Um, but they're there to uplift you, all right? And they're there to make you better. And sometimes what we like to do is surround ourselves with toxic people. Why? I don't know. Um, we, we have a habit as, as humans um, of, of finding ourselves next to people that are doubters, that tell us we can't or that um, you're nothing or you only got here because of one reason or another. And it's, it's not because of your talent, it's not because of your drive, it's not because of any of the good qualities. It's usually something bad, whether it be family, sex, religion, whatever. There's always a reason why things like this happen. So what I want people to realize is that you have to surround yourself with positivity. You have to surround yourself with people that are going to help pick you up when you fail, help um, help to make sure you're on the right track. Because if you have a purpose in mind, if you have a goal you want to achieve and they see you falling behind or they see you slacking, they're going to pick you back up. They're going to help. All right. And they're going to, they're going to drive you to do more and to do better. And I want this to motivate you because if you need someone that's going to give you a kick in the ass, go ahead and get a hold of me. If you need someone to just say, hey, you can do it, you can do it. And again, we talked about on the last video, uh, on last week, we talked about how we're our biggest critic. So sometimes we need those positive people to get us out of our own head. Because there's a lot of imposter syndrome. There's a lot of uh, people that think they can't do something. For one reason or another, they get in our own head. So we need these people in our lives. And if you don't have one, if you don't have a few, again, they don't have to be your best friend. They don't have to be family. They don't have to be anything like that. But just people that you can talk to and will relate and even just listen. And then at the end of listening, when you have said all you had to say, and maybe you've come off and told people you're a failure, or maybe you've come out and you've said, I can't do this. They're going to be the ones that sit there and be like, yes, you can. You can do this. You just have to find the right way to do it. Um, and that's, that's really what it's about. All right. So, again, don't keep toxic company. Don't keep the company of people that are just going to put you down, that are just going to make you feel bad about yourself when you already may feel bad about yourself as it is. All right. You may feel like you can't do certain things. You may feel like this isn't for you. And again, it doesn't matter what career field it is. You need to surround yourself with people that are going to help and guide and give you that push when necessary. You don't need a yes man. You don't need someone that tells you every idea is great because maybe sometimes you haven't thought about things. I have a few in my company and that, that I am very grateful for that will give me the facts and tell me, hey, have you thought about this, this, and this? Because you may have to um, rethink your, your strategy. You may have to rethink how you approach it. So though though they're guiding me, they're not telling me I can't do it. They are just giving me the ability to see things from a different perspective and from the perspective of have you thought of all of the angles. 
So they're not gonna they're not gonna say, oh yeah, that's a grand plan all the time. They're they're gonna tell you and they're gonna give you the opportunity to think about things, and that is something that we need in our lives. All right. So um, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. I hope that you have really, really, really done everything you can this weekend to relax, recover, to 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 just get in the right headspace. And from here on out, I want you to concentrate on who you surround yourself with. All right. If there are people in your life that talk down to you, if there are people in your life that aren't there to help you achieve more than what you believe you can achieve in, then you, you need to rethink who you surround yourself with. But other than that, look, it's a great Monday. It's a great day. And I hope you watch this video throughout the week and the weeks to come because it's just about motivation, guys. So motivate yourselves. Like, subscribe, share, comment. I'll catch you all next week. Thank you.